Rafi and Glee, live stream. Hopefully, we don't say. F Happy New Year! Happy New Year! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our super impromptu live stream for the new year. Yep. I already see that the party got started without us. Yeah, they're totally having a party here. Ellen says, everybody remember to hit the like button. Oh, Thanks, thank you. Ellen. Yes, everybody remember to hit that like button. I see that you guys all have the same plans as us for New Year's Eve. That's awesome. <laughs> it's funny because at first I was like, oh, who's going to, everybody's probably out having a good time and partying and stuff. And I was like, wait a second, nope. we're having a good time. We don't need to go anywhere. To yeah. Party. Besides, it's cold out there. <laughs> yeah, I can see you guys. Hi, Charity. Hi, everybody. Hi, Charity. Uh, so can you guys hear us all right and see us all right and all that stuff? Yeah, look at everybody. <laughs> Hi, Cheryl. <laughs> Hello, Rafi and Klee. I finally made it. Happy New Year. Oh, Happy, happy New, New Year. Happy New Year. Yeah. So right now it's going on 8 p.m. our time. Yeah. And you guys are tuning in from everywhere. Yeah. So so, so at the end of the, we're going to hang out for an hour. And at the end of this, we're going to do our own New Year's countdown. So, yeah, <laughs> you guys feel free to chime in with what time it is wherever you are. We do not have any live musical performances from whatever the kids are listening to these days. We do not. We do not. <laughs> any any of that New Year's stuff that you see on TV, it's just going to be our faces pretty much. Greetings from Atlanta. Oh, look at that. This is my kind of party. <laughs> <laughs> Happy New Year from the UK. Happy New Year. Ooh, it's either the New Year over in the UK or it's about to be, I think. Or else it's at 6 p.m. Yeah, so 6 p.m., different places i tried to happy new new years <laughs> that's funny <laughs> we established we are all intoxicated so, so talk, talk slowly Clee <laughs> isn't out of focus it's weird I well yeah. salute salute <laughs> we'll remedy that with a quickness <laughs> Already 2020 here in Melbourne, Australia. Oh, well, happy 2020. Happy 2020. Hope you the are. new year has uh, been good to you. Having ramen, crackers, and hot chocolate. Yes. Whoa, gourmet. That actually sounds really good. It really does. Yeah. We'll be <laughs> yeah. eating We'll be eating our new year dinner after after, <laughs> after yeah. the live stream. Yours will be soup, right? Yeah. And mine will be whatever I figure out. Mine will be soup because my tummy's not yeah, good. Yeah, I know. Your tummy's not Sarah, it's two in the morning here in England. Oh, wow. Okay, so you guys rung it in, definitely. Yeah. Happy New Year from the Philippines. It's 10 a.m. here. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sarah and who's from the Philippines? Uh, let's see. Sordet. Sordet, thank you. Thank you for being here and hanging out with us for our new year. Yeah, Charity said 8 p.m. here in Minnesota. Yep, you're yep. you're in the same time zone Lucy as we Lucy said are. yellow juice. Yes, yes, indeed. Yellow juice with, for the new year. <laughs> with those braids, Clee, we could put you and Rafi together in one person. We would have Willie Nelson. <laughs> Sweet, so there is musical entertainment for this live stream. <laughs> uh, 9, 9 p.m. in Indiana. Ah. Stoned and sipping my TNT. <laughs> Happy New Year from Virginia. Only 9 p.m. here. I love seeing Clee's lovely non-blurry face. Why, Aww. thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm rocking some faux bangs, as you can see. Oh, <laughs> Nene's like, ooh, ramen. Yeah, I thought the same yeah. thing. I was like, ooh, ramen. Mm. Yeah, ramen's good. Happy New Year, Elsa, California, San Francisco Bay Area. Oh, that's so beautiful there. Yeah, cooking homemade Spanish rice, 4 p.m. Mm. Mm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's in Hawaii. That's the one that I was looking at. Like, when should we time this? Oh, yeah, we tried to time it, but then we realized you guys are all over the world. Yeah. So really, there's no timing this to ring in anything together. Happy New Year, 2.30 p.m. 12.30. p.m., 1st of January here in Australia. Happy New Year. Happy New, New year. year. Pennsylvania, subbed recently. Love you guys. Uh, Hi, thanks, Adam. Adam. Thank Hi. you. All right, so what are we doing for the New Year? Well, this. <laughs> yep. We were recently talking about New Year's gone by, and I realized that me and Rafi have spent, this will be our 11th New Year. 11 New Year's together. Yeah. That's crazy. And I couldn't make the math make sense in my head at first because we've been together for 10 and a half years. And then I realized, oh, yeah, the first new year was in our year zero of yep. dating. Yeah. Yep. 
11 New Year's. And then I asked him, do you remember where we were uh, when it became 2010? Yep. And we're pretty sure we were in Key Largo having dinner with a guy from Quebec yep. and a guy from Massachusetts, Maine? Maine from Maine, yeah. yeah. He Gary was, he was from a, Maine. Yeah, he was a firefighter from Maine. So when when we right after we met, that's when we traveled around the country. And at one point, we were at a campground in Key West, and we were sitting in the back of our truck, uh, playing some music, playing around with music. It was kind of drizzling, and a man from Quebec came up and said, "It's very nice to meet you. I want to make you dinner tonight." Yeah. It was really cool. We were trying to get our Coleman stove to work and it wasn't working. So then another guy showed up on the scene who was our neighbor on the other side and said, I have a Coleman stove. So collectively between all of us, we managed to have a really awesome dinner. Yeah, we had and 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 from Maine, Gary from Maine was telling us stories and uh, we just had a great night with two perfect strangers, had great dinner and great great conversations. Gary was a firefighter and he had hilarious stories. Oh, here's a good question. Liz Gridley, do you think resolutions are worth the effort or is it better to just try and maintain good habits? Okay, I have an answer to that. Go for it. I think it's better to try and maintain good habits, but I do think it's a good practice to evaluate where you're at Yes. Every new year. That's something that we do. So resolution, basically, you would take a look instead of like setting like some goal, like I'm going to do this or whatever, like where where it's just this arbitrary gro- goal, which I think is what resolutions are. Sometimes, yeah. Um, I think it's more of like a lifestyle change. And it's one of the things that I tell people when they're like, I want to become a full time artist. And I say to them, like, being an artist is not having, it it doesn't mean that you have a job as an artist. It means that you are making a lifestyle change. So when a resolution comes with some kind of lifestyle change of something that you want, um, I think that that's when it's beneficial. Mm -hmm. If you're like, oh, I got to get on this diet of food that I hate. And in order to lose 10 pounds, then that's not really a lifestyle change because you wouldn't uh, eat food that you didn't like. So it's like, all right, well, what can I do to make this a permanent thing and not just a a resolution that I'm trying to reach for for the year? Yeah, things that are going to be comfortable for you to sustain long term, pleasurable to sustain. Yeah. Celestial Piper. Hi, guys. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Adventure seeking artists for resolutions. Break up your goals in smaller bites. Yeah good yeah, plan of action. I like that. So after we talked about our Key Largo campground dinner for 2010, I tried to think back to when it became 2000, the year 2000. The year 2000. <laughs> so we talked about that and I was like, well, in the year 2000, um, because in, it's easy for me to remember because that was the year of the Y2K. Like everybody Yeah, everyone was, thought the world was going to end. Yeah, everyone yeah. thought the world was going to end. And in the year 2000, I was a the manager of the Navy Pier IMAX Theater in Chicago. And I was working late that night, all night. I remember the pier was full of people. The theater was not. And I was scheduled to go home through the traffic get three hours of sleep and then be there the next morning for Fantasia 2000, which the light, the light bulb in the IMAX camera exploded. And so all day, every hour, there were 400 people that needed to get refunds. So it was a nightmarish way to start my year. That's pretty awful. But it was it was one of the the key days where like my district manager came in because like during all the stuff, like I took my tie off and he walked in after who knows how much partying that night and looked at me and said, what, no tie today? And I lost it. I was like, no, 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 you don't get here. And you don't, and he's my boss. And and I remember that being a defining moment of like, what am I doing? Why am I working for other people? And why am I stressing out over this thing when I'm not getting any benefits out of it? So that was a good, it was a good year. It was not a great year, but it was a good year for the life change that would eventually take place. Hi guys, joining in from New Brunswick, Canada. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Yukiko, Happy New Year. I'm painting a horse head blue. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> the IC- IGC show is done at the Navy Pier each year. Yes, yes it is. There, You know, uh, I, I 
will talk eventually this year. I'm going to talk about different websites that you could go to and different organizations that put on festivals and shows. And Amdor uh, Corporation is the one that puts all these festivals in Chicago. And they put together like 30 festivals, I want to say, every year. Um, they're a little bit expensive, but that's one of them that you could go to and, and be a part of. Yeah. Esther is asking, here's another question. As far as I can tell, your videos are focused on fellow artists. How would you make a video that is focused on collectors instead? So we had one video that was focused on art buying, like how to how to curate your own art collection. And um, unbeknownst to us, some people who are not artists, who are art collectors, have started following our channel also. You can never really predict what people are going to do. Yeah. I mean, you could try and gear stuff towards them, but... For the most part, um, I would say that because art collectors are, um, they're, they're not really a, a niche, I would say that if you're going to do something like that where you want to gear your channel towards art collectors, I would make it more of a like art collectors 101, you know, mm -hmm. like and have fun with that. Tips and hacks for collecting art. Yeah, for right? collecting art. Yeah, yeah, that that kind of thing. Like and how to make art more approachable. Yeah, because that's the biggest thing. A lot there is such a misconception because of all the the uh, mystery to the art world. A lot of people think that they have to be educated in order to buy a work of art. And what they don't understand is that all that hoity toitiness that people talk about, that has to do with like the art stock market and prices yeah. and things like that. No matter what, as long as an artist does not quit, their work is going to go up in value. So no matter what, it will always be an investment, despite what a lot of those hoity toity people will say. So when when you are talking to a collector, make sure you let them know all you have to do is love a work of art. There are a lot of huge, expensive collections that were collected by just regular people that loved Picasso's pieces and loved some of the newer pieces. They just liked them. They yeah. just liked them. And they were, the, they were the ones that became tastemakers because they had huge collections. It wasn't like they were collecting stuff just because like, oh, this is going to be the next big artist. So I think if you're going to do that, gear a channel towards that kind of thing where you're letting people know like you don't have to be an expert in art in order to collect it. Yeah, we've had a lot of new people show up just now. Oh. And hi to everyone. Hi, Thomas. Hi, hi Thomas. to you folks in Nebraska. Someone said that we're their New Year's Eve party and you're our New Year's awesome. Eve party. Awesome. Yes, you are. <laughs> you are. Um. Yeah. I think that was pretty good as far as the art collectors go. Ha yeah. And Happy New Year from Saline, Michigan. Hey, Happy New Year. I need tips on how to be an art snob. Didn't we do a video on how to be an art snob? We did. We did. <laughs> we'll do more videos because that's such a fun topic that we'll do more videos this year about being an art snob and what that entails. Dana's here. Hi, Dana. Hey, Dana. Well, I'm sure this has been discussed because I just got on, but hey, Klee, love that swoop bang. Thank you. I've chosen to ring in the new decade with a hairstyle from the decade which I hail from, which is the 80s. Yep, the 80s. <laughs> the swoop bang. I don't have enough hair to do mine. <laughs> Your hair looks good, honey. <laughs> Hi, Rafi and Klee from Indianapolis. Hi. Love the braids with side bangs look, Klee. Thanks, Joe. Joe, I was reading your peer, uh, your post where you were talking about looking back to the decades past and where you were in the year 2000, and it got us thinking about yep. it, too. That's, yeah. Where I was in the year 2000 was I was a 16-year-old kid and a bit of a rabble rouser, and my friend JJ and I got a pack of Ice House and drank it in her driveway. <laughs> yeah. And I knew, I knew not what was in store for me <laughs> when I was 16. <laughs> Charlotte Alexander. Hi, Rafi and Clee from Chicago. Hey! Hi! Our hometown. Our hometown. P.S. And there's a bun, too. <laughs> yeah, there's all the things happening here. Brenda hair. said, thank you for doing a New Year show. Yeah, thank you, Brenda, for being here. Yeah, you guys you are guys awesome. Yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. This was kind of a little bit of a last-minute idea, and I was like, that would be so much fun. Well, the thing is that we've gone dark, so we haven't had a chance to do, like, videos and stuff because we've been so focused on the book and the new year and getting everything uh, set up for this new year coming in. So... Um, it's nice to be able to connect with you guys 
uh, before before the the new year comes in. Yeah, and the next wave of craziness sets in. Yeah, because we have uh, we have a bunch of plans for uh, 2020 as far as YouTube and Patreon and like all the things that we're doing. So we're really excited about it, but we're getting that all straightened out yeah and in the meantime i have a group show that's happening in like five minutes he has a group show <laughs> and then i've got the rafi's birthday bash at joe said you know like the show that i'm putting on so yeah and i'll be showing pieces there yep. too and those two shows overlap so it's gonna be cray cray yeah someone asked do you guys have any idea how many people follow you online and like in on the whole no i have no idea we can see like statistics from each platform but on the whole, we don't we yeah. don't know. Yeah, but we're thankful. Yeah, for we you. are. We are for everybody. Like basically, at this point, I don't know how many people it is, but we just try to catch up and respond to as many comments as we can. Yeah, pretty much. By the way, you guys, if we miss your question, just go ahead and type it in there again. Yeah, the ticker tape over here is moving pretty fast. Uh, sending all my good wishes and happy new years from Colorado. Thank uh, you, Minnie. Thank you. Happy new year. Are you still in 2019 there? Yes, we yes, are. Yes, we are. It is 8.13 p.m. here. It is 8.13, so. and uh, we're going to probably be watching Netflix. Yeah, we're, we're going <laughs> to ring in the new year in our jammies. Yep. Mm -hmm, with some soup. Yep. <laughs> it's very exciting. <laughs> So far, the most exciting thing today I did was drop a clipboard on the floor. Yeah, like, that was really loudly. That was exciting. Yeah, you, you Patreon peeps got to see that. Birthday bash when your day. I'm January fifth. You're January fifth. I am February fifth. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, my birthday bash is actually going to be February first at Dolce and Gelato, which is a very eclectic place. And I'll be doing a video before we set it up to show you how I set up like a show like that and uh, you guys you guys are gonna love that place it's pretty awesome it's so cool they have a record store and amazing gelato uh, Vicky said I'm celebrating new year by restuffing my favorite pillow yeah, yeah. that's awesome it's a great new year I have a bunch of sewing projects that I want to do this new year too what kind of soup it's been like a brothy soup that he's been yeah, making I'm, I'm with gonna spinach be, I, I need to like yeah, it's brothy. It has some vegetables and yeah. some spinach. Yeah. Yeah. So, Pruning fruit trees is an art that I am learning. That's awesome. That's cool. What does this say? I do not recall exactly what I was doing for Y2K. Probably nothing exciting with a 1.5, one, 1 one and a half year old. Yeah. But I do remember one of my work computers didn't work after that. Right? Ever. It didn't work ever after. Oh, wow. It bit it. Oh, that's kind of cool. What maybe there was one computer, one computer that, didn't make that was it. like can't do it. <laughs> it's six fourteen here in California. Oh. Yeah, you guys have a ways to go yet to yep. ring in the new year. I'm stuffing me with cheese and olives and nog. <laughs> <laughs> That's an awesome thing to do, Joe. That is awesome. I love all those things. Yep. Rafi loves olives. I love so olives much. so much. When I was a kid, I before even school, I I loved reading, and basically I would have a jar of olives and my book, and just sit there, and eat my olives and read. When I was maybe about five, from since the age of five years old, yeah. Yeah, my birthday's February fourth. D. Oh, awesome, D. Yay! Hello, I'm an artist and I want to take on art, but love all media. I have tons of galleries in my area. How do I pick ones that will be best? Happy New Year! My birthday is February first. Happy birthday! Happy coming birthday! Up, coming up. I recommend you visit all of said galleries yep. and get a gut feeling for which ones are the best fit for you. Get a gut feeling. Go to their shows. Take a look at what kind of art is there. What is comparable? Uh, get to know some of the artists if you get a chance to. Just, just follow your gut when it comes to it um no matter what you can approach every single one as long as you're not afraid of them saying no you're not a good fit but uh i i would personally make sure that you are taking a look at it to see if it's a good fit for you not necessarily the other way around yeah you're you're interviewing them even more so yeah Cruz said, I love garlic stuffed olives. Those are the best. They are so good. Those and blue cheese stuffed olives. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I just literally salivated a little. Ellen said, oh, yes, I still eat olives out of the jar. Right. I love olives. Love olives. Tammy says, happy new year whenever it comes to all. Oh, happy new year, Tammy. 
Stitching Haven. Hi, hubby and I, Oregon. Ring in the new year at nine and then go to sleep. <laughs> it yep. was last year, I think, that we were just fighting to stay oh, awake yeah. until midnight. Yeah, that was only because our friends were like, you want to come over for new year? And then they were they were fighting to stay awake. And I was like, this is dumb. All of us were <laughs> struggling. Yeah. <laughs> You talked about having your art on display at galleries, coffee shops, etc., and said that the business should cover for damages or loss. Most don't provide insurance. Would that be a deal buster? Um, it depends on the business. Yeah, yeah. Basically, the way that it goes with my with my form that I have is that I say like you are you are basically held responsible for any damages or loss of it. So. Um, I'm providing the art, you're providing the wall space, but you're also providing the security. Mm -hmm. Now, if they don't have insurance and something happens, that's something that you have to, you would have to deal with them with it. But, uh, I mean, it all depends on what your relationship is with the business owner. I have a pretty good relationship with anybody that's displaying my art. Uh, so when it comes to that, it's like, you do understand that if something happens to this, you got to pay for it. Yeah. We have Deanne here. Hey, Deanne. Hey, Deanne. And Terrence asked, black or green olives? And the answer is green. Green, but... but uh, also Kalamata olives. Kalamata olives, mm -hmm. which are black, are, are mm -hmm. my favorites, Delicious. too. Delicious. Yeah. Friend took me to this big Italian grocery and counted the tubs of olives, as I could believe it was 40 different tubs of them. Oh, wow. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the Magnet Maiden. Yay, so glad I caught alive. Mm. Welcome. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I'm just the upcoming comic book artist that is j oh, just looking for tips on improvement. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Well, well, we're full of them, but they're just our opinions. Yeah, it's just an opinion. <laughs> Remember, your improvement, you decide what area you want to head in. But always, always look for feedback, but take it with a grain of salt. Deanne said, I have three grandsons here doing karaoke with them. Hilarious. Oh, That's I love an awesome that, Deanne. That's awesome. Year. <laughs> my sister had a cat that went bananas for olives. He'd claw you to get at them, would munch down on it when he got one, and then would rub all over the spot on the floor where it was. I love, I love what Deanne is saying because I gave one year for New Year, I gave my kids a 7-Up with a grenadine. What? Oh, yeah, a Shirley Temple. Yeah, and mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, this is whatever. And then they were walking around acting like they were drunk, and I was like... All right, guys. They were like, Happy New Year. I was uh, like, all right, enjoy it. I remember when I had my first taste of um, a pink lady. My mom was drinking a pink lady, and I thought I was drunk. I was very <laughs> – <laughs> I'm sure it was entertaining. I did the same thing when I had a pina colada. Yeah. 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 Wig Wigerton, how do you handle farts in the studio? <laughs> <laughs> I deal with them all day, not my farts, He though. thinks that I'm the only one. <laughs> There should probably be a B-roll video about farts in the studio. I think that might have to be a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just getting started with doing art more often, so this year is going to be wild. Strap yes, it in, is. Cruz. <laughs> Dude, you got this. You it's got gonna this. It's going to be amazing. Starting full-time art first of the new year. Quit my job last week. Lucky. Oh, whoa, that's yeah. awesome. Keep us updated. Congratulations on Re that life choice. Remember, just stick with it. Just stick with it. Sharice is here. Happy New Year to Happy you both. New love year, you guys. Charisse. Hi, Sharice. Happy New Year. Love we you love too. you too. Kelly's here. My boss during Y2K decided to make me Y2K contingency plan coordinator, <laughs> which meant I would. Oh, no. Scroll it down. I got to see the end of that one. I mean, I would not get a vacation. I asked for a, for one and a half years in advance, beginning of 99. Oh, I my. Made, what? Made all the plans, then left. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was probably a good call. Yep. Oh, man. Dizzy Stitches Crochet. Hi. Hi. Happy New Year. My mom kind of freaked out when Y2K was coming. Of course she, she did. She started, like, um, panicking and stocking canned oh, goods. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I had a bunch of friends that did that, too, and I was like, guys, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Things are not going to, like, blow up. I mean, I guess. I don't, no, no, it no, didn't really make no, sense. No, it didn't make sense. Congrats. Hi, Brandon and I are loving your art we got for Christmas. You are so inspiring. Aww. We plan to start traveling in April to do art festivals. We're dying to know more about your time on the road. Any tips? 
we will definitely uh, do a special video because yes. I have a lot of footage from the road. So much footage. So it's going to be a longer video and we're just going to, I'm going to kind of make a documentary style of our trip on the road. And our and, evolution. And our evolution through that. My biggest advice is be willing to roll with it because yep. it's not going to be anything like what you expect. Yeah, that was one of the one of the main lessons that we learned in life. Just being on the road was like, don't uh, let your expectations get in the way of you being able to move forward. Because when things don't go according to plan, you have to work with that. Yeah, and it can be a wonderful experience if you can roll with it yep. and make the most of it. Deanne said, I do wine glasses with sparkling juice. They think it's awesome and do cheers about six to seven times. I love that. I love sparkling juice. <laughs> that jazz is good. The only thing to do with farts is claim it. Yep. That's rate it she, and rank it. Yep. Yes. I'm the, I'm the crowned dowager empress of claiming it and yep. ranking it. <laughs> At a recent art show, a lady really wanted to give her grandson a painting of my work. She combed through my fantasy feminine stuff she found the only dragon picture i had it made me smile to experience that that's yeah that's awesome. awesome that is an awesome experience we tried to give our two sons a sip of champagne for y2k then ages nine and ten we thought it would be memorable but they thought it was nasty <laughs> and refused <laughs> that's how i felt about beer the first time i ever yep. tried beer I was like, this is yeah disgusting. beer is gross adults are crazy yep <laughs> Joe Pearson, what did Joe say? Scroll here? it back just a bit. Right Olives can be hell eating them out of a jar as a glass artist. Stick your hand in there with a few cuts you didn't notice, and you have to be pried off the ceiling. <laughs> I know that problem well. Yep. Yep. The small cuts on the hands from working with sharp jewelry also. Yep. yep. Y2K, none of my friends and family were worried about it. I was starting college the first time. Yeah, see, and then that was, it was such a weird mix. You had people that were just glued to the news, watching every uh, disastrous headline, and they were freaked out. And then you had other people that didn't care, and like nothing happened. Clee, what is your favorite rock? I can't narrow it down to one. I can give you like my top four Tourmaline Group, Quartz Family. Feldspar family, which are like Labradorite and Moonstone. Those would be my top three. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Love them. I'm going to roll with this new year. Yes, Cruz. Mm -hmm. You got it. Megan McFallon. Or blame farts on the cat or dog. Rafi likes to blame them on the creaky floor, which is hilarious. Because it is have, the creaky floor. We have tile everywhere. It's creaky floor. <laughs> Not much gets a person present like travel does. It's yeah, true. It does. It really does. Survivalism also. at its finest. Yep. Yep. They thought we were crazy. Like the role with it advice might adopt it as a mantra for 2020. Yeah. It's a good idea. It is a good idea. It's a good idea even now running the art studio. I still think beer is disgusting. <laughs> Most of it is. Yeah. Some craft beer is kind of good. Some craft. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever had tapeworms? Not that we know of. Nope. <laughs> and but they my, don't tell us what to my do My tapeworm either. tells me what to do. <laughs> hey. <Mine> doesn't. <laughs> I love opals. Opals are magical. Opals are magical. Opals actually shouldn't exist. And if you look it up and look at the conditions that need to happen, it's almost impossible. Yeah, it's crazy. Moldavite. Ooh, Moldavite is some cool stuff, man. My husband and second cat tried to interrupt my live <laughs> <laughs> watching. Tell them to join in or yeah. stop interrupting. Yeah. <laughs> Tammy. I'm 52 and never had a drink in my life. So, yes, beer, yucky. Yeah, well, beer, yucky. You know what? Coffee tastes better in almost all cases <laughs> than most things. And tea. Please do a fart video. Your kids will probably like that <laughs> one. <laughs> can't wait to see on the road documentary. Awesome. Yeah, I can't <laughs> wait to do that. It's going to take a little while because it's going to take a lot of work. So I got to really time that one right. I got booted out. So I hope to hear back on my question. Minnie, if we missed, uh, if we missed your question, please. Yeah, uh, retype it, Minnie, so we could see it because it, it just it goes past us and we can't see it anymore. Cruz asked, ever dig for crystals in Arkansas? I totally enjoyed it. Diamonds. Yes, we did. We looked for diamonds. We found some quartz, some little yep. pieces of quartz. I want to do more of that. That Yeah, was we will. We will. There's there's a few mines that we've found out about around here and we're going to do more of that. Yeah. Saltwater joys. Clee, aside from painting, I collect and polish rocks in my tumbler. Lots of pre-shaped stones on the beaches around here. Some jasper and agates. Lots oh, of super pretties. 
Agate was my first love that I discovered when I was little. And Where? I, Where is that? Yeah, I don't know. Well, maybe she'll maybe she'll yep. tell us. Not a question, but Clee, thank you for showing me what it's like to work through fear and overwhelm. I got back to writing poetry and painting this year, listening to you guys in the background. Aww. That's awesome, Sorda. Thank you. Thank you for telling us. Yeah. Happy New Year. Congratulations on your book. Can't wait to read it. Deanne said, got to run, set up sparklers out. Yes, yes, run. You do sparklers <laughs> and do the new year. Do we them love with the you, kids. Deanne. We love you, Deanne. It was awesome of you to be here. Uh, did Rafi ever have a mullet? Did you? No, not a mullet. I had I had the uh, Keanu Reeves in uh, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure hair most I had of my a mullet. life. I had a mullet for like three minutes. Yep. When I cut my hair, first I cut a mullet, then I cut it into a pixie cut. <laughs> Did you just quote System of a Down just yes. when I thought you two couldn't get more awesome? Yes, I did. We love System of a Down. <laughs> it's great for all the things. It's great for driving. It's great for cleaning. Yep. It's great for just hanging out. <laughs> I've said my daughter is my walking tapeworm. <laughs> the way she consumes food. <laughs> That's hilarious. What are you drinking? Uh, yellow juice. Yeah. Is Cafe Bustelo your coffee? Yes, it is. Yeah. I love it as iced coffee. Yeah, it's great uh, as iced coffee. I, I like my coffee very strong because I grew up in a Cuban household. So we were used to strong coffee. Yeah, it's good. It punches you in the face with Gaffer flavor. Gaffer Smart. Trinidad in the house. What's up, Hello Gaffer? Hello in Trinidad. Not getting the stream, but Happy New Year to everyone. Uh, I think there's Happy some New buffering Year. going on. Yeah, Hopefully there might be. I bet you all the people are live streaming right now on YouTube. Maybe. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I mean, the ones who are at home. The cool ones. Yeah, the cool ones. <laughs> Hello from New Brunswick, I think I saw. Yep. Hello. Love to Rock Hound on the Bay of Fundy. Oh, that's where uh, lots that. of glacial deposits. Oh, Google that the sounds... Bay of Fundy. It's a pretty cool spot. We will definitely Google that. And we'll see you there sometime. Yep. <laughs> Can you tell us how you met? I want to hear. We will do a video. That is of another that. video. Yes. That's a very um, magnificent it's, story yeah. that cannot be we, told in we short met fashion. And then met, and then met, and then finally met. So, yeah, you'll hear the story. <laughs> System of a Down is good for driving when I want a speeding ticket. Well, right? <laughs> yeah. It's hard not to want to go fast when listening. <laughs> System of a Down. <laughs> <laughs> yep. When I was growing up, my brothers used to eat sticks of butter out of the refrigerator. <laughs> I have a horribly funny story about oh boy my my eating a mouthful of butter. I'll try to tell it quickly. Yep. My parents took me to a buffet when I was little, and I loved all the sweets and desserts. And I put heaping spoonfuls of what I thought was pudding onto my plate. And all the grown-ups were looking at me like, what is this kid doing? And I was like, what? I like pudding. And I sat down and put the most heaping spoonful into my mouth. And it was butter. It was <laughs> it was whipped butter. And let me tell you, a mouthful of that is not good. It, it is good. I like butter. I eat sticks not that of butter. Much. Yeah. Did you? Vicky said System of the Down. What's that? That's a band. It's a band. It's a, it's a crazy loud band. Yeah. They're pretty good. Erica Joy, Happy New Year. I found your channel a few months ago and have enjoyed every video I've watched. Thank you guys for being so off awesome, inspiring, and helpful. Labradorite is my in my top three, too. Thank you, Erica. That's awesome. Thank you. And how can you not love Labradorite? Labradorite is awesome. Yeah. Do you have any <clears throat> advice on increasing your social media following? I read that if you have a thousand followers, you can sustain an art career you know what be careful what you read because even when we had a thousand followers um <clears throat> it all it all still happens organically so yeah don't look too much into the numbers try to ignore the numbers just more about the content that you're putting out there you could have 200 followers and still and have, have an art and career. have an art career yeah we did it the organic way which yeah. was the long game and it, and it takes a long time we've been doing this for 10 years and you don't see us with like 50,000 or 100,000 followers because every single person that does follow us is actually interested it's not about us marketing it out there to everyone so build a following even if it's small just make it count Vicky said that a gnat has been stalking me all day, chasing my <laughs> cell phone screen. Right. Vicky, we have that problem, too, because we have 35 plants here. Yeah. And there's no 
there's no getting rid of. There them have been entirely. times, if if you ever <laughs> notice, where I'm recording a video on YouTube and I'll be talking, and if you see my eyes, my eyes will go off. That's me chasing a gnat with my eyes. They're yeah. awful. They're awful. And Wig asked it, uh, if we ever wanted a studio chicken, and the answer is no, because we had yard chickens for yep. a while when we lived with his dad when yep. we were caring for him, and they're fine. But they're... I definitely don't want yeah. one up in here. <laughs> <laughs> Chickens can be jerks. They could be. They could be. Hey, anytime you want to do a road trip to Fundy, I'd be happy to show you around. Oh, that'd, of... be, that'd be awesome. Yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah. We're hoping to get on the road in some format we at will. some point. We will. We're thinking maybe a mobile studio or something, but that, that'll be in our future at some point. Yeah, we'll we'll play the long game there, too. Yep. Rafi, you mentioned that you can use galleries, coffee shops, etc. as space saver. You suggested that the business should cover for damages or loss, but most businesses do not. Is that a deal breaker? Oh, I think we started touching on that. Yeah, I mean, and that's <laughs> that's the thing, Minnie. Like, I, it's, it's based on the relationship that I have with them. Yeah. So, and and I don't just go to any business like I do have to have somewhat of a relationship with them where I trust them with my stuff and I trust that if something happens to my stuff that they're going to take care of it um, that is in the clause that is in the deal as far as like them having my work on their walls they are responsible for it so they're going to take care of it regardless because if it gets damaged they're responsible for the work i would say it's a deal breaker if they don't seem that attentive yeah, or like if, they're gonna take care of yeah you. if they tell me like there are places that i don't show my work because when i when i walked in there and the people approached me i looked at the work that was already up there and it was all like lopsided and you could tell that like mm -hmm. they weren't being taken care of and i was like no i don't i'm not going to show my work here nope. so it's all up to you and making sure that, that your work is protected. Kelly Stir said, Venus flytrap, and I have a funny story about that. So we got a Venus flytrap in an effort to feed it gnats from the other plants. Yeah. And none of the gnats would go anywhere near it. And no. the Venus flytrap starved to death slowly, and it was the saddest thing <laughs> you've ever seen. None of them would go near the, the flytrap. It's yep. like they knew. It's like we have smart ones. Vinegar is supposed to kill gnats. Yeah, we have vinegar traps everywhere. <laughs> Rhonda, I was attacked by chickens as a child. That's horrible. I was attacked by geese. So oh, I'm scared geese. of those big giant geese. Yeah. I was once surrounded by peacocks. Unbeknownst to me, they're very territorial. Yeah. Yes, they are. I asked this once before, but not sure it was understood. How do you get your computer to announce that you have a comment on your YouTube channel? Uh, I don't know the answer to I that. I don't know, actually. Um, it's it's Discord that does the announcing. Um, I, I don't know about YouTube. I'd have to look into that more. Joe said checking stats and numbers <clears throat> is a hellhole you fall into, and it can yeah, get depressing you fast. Don't, you don't want to do that. Don't check your stats. Yeah. Don't check your numbers, because your stats and numbers cannot define... For example, if somebody sees a piece and they fall in love with it and it means so much to them that they share it with other people because it really touched them, their soul, your stats are not going to tell you that. And that's really what matters at the end of the day. Yeah. So don't worry about how many people are following you or whatever. What matters is the quality of the people that are following you. When I had 300 people following me, I was making a living as an artist. Yeah. Chickens are cute. Love to paint them, but mean. Our rooster used to attack me when we were in the chicken yard stealing eggs. Yep. <laughs> they are beautiful <clears throat> usually, but kind of mean. It is what finalized my decision to become full time. I'm I'm proud of you on making that yeah. decision. Yeah. I always tell my RVing peeps online when they go near your part of Florida to keep an eye out for you in the markets, etc. Oh, thanks, Tammy. We're the western gate to the sunshine state yep. here. That's what we are. <laughs> I was attacked by geese, too. Those things are vicious. Right? Geese are jerks. Geese are straight up jerks. Yeah. I'm not sure geese have <clears throat> any redeeming qualities, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I was attacked by Beethoven, but I still <laughs> love dogs still. <laughs> Nats. Best trap, apple cider vinegar in a cup, cellophane on top with holes poked in, barker's tip changed often. Yeah. Yeah, we're yeah. doing it. And we get them. We just don't get them all. Oh, the lag and stoppage is killing me out here in California. I just want to say have a lovely new year. Aww, I'm sorry. Thanks. Happy it was new good year. seeing you. Yeah, I think probably <clears throat> the interwebs are. Yeah, the interwebs is going to be crazy tonight. Chickens are tiny T Rexes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they, they are. are. They are. 
Naomi here. My mother asked me what system was, so I showed her. She was listening to it and suddenly looked up near the end of Chop Suey and said, <laughs> I can't hear the live. We have to stop watching you. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Art with hairballs, yay or nay? Mm, uh, I've never tried it. Art with hairballs, I've, I've stayed away from that. I get plenty of chest hairballs in my art. Yeah, and this hair gets everywhere. Yeah. There's almost guaranteed to be a piece of it in every piece of art. My neighbors have chickens, urban chicken farm. They love to listen to their owner play piano. It's humorous. I think them I think of the Muppets <laughs> of them standing outside. Yeah. The Muppet the Muppet chickens are magnificent. Yeah. Have you guys ever been to Miami Art Week? I went this year. It's what pushed me to make the decision to go full time. You know what? We have not no, but yet, but we know about Miami Art Week, and I have family that lives there. So yeah, that's it's, on the list. It's definitely on the list. Victim of a goose attack here. <laughs> See? I was five, and I still remember. I have also been attacked by seagulls. Right. Oh, yeah. Seagulls will get you, too. Crazy. T-Rexes. <laughs> I have bad feelings about goats because I was attacked by a goat. Yeah, goats are goats are a holes. They're pretty jerky too. Happy New Year, you two are the best. Looking forward to a great 2000. Cheers, Laura. Cheers. For nets uh, to seal all your drains, empty. Yep, yep. Yeah. We have 75 chickens. Chickens are assholes. <laughs> yes, they are. They are. What's wrong with chickens? Art with hair cuttings was a Victorian thing. Really? Really? I'm going to have to look at that. Yeah. yeah. If hairballs are art, my cat is Jackson <laughs> Pollock. <laughs> That's awesome. My happy light is helping and I'm gra and I'm gradually waking. Oh, I see. and gradually waking. Spring is coming, days getting longer. Yep. No blackbird attacks are the worst. Blackbird oh. attacks. Whoa, that's like uh, that's Hitchcock film. Yeah. Yeah. Cruz said, we have chickens, roosters, and peacocks free range here. All civil bird creatures here in paradise. Aww. Oh, you we live wanna, in a magical place. We want to visit. So National Parks has a thing where you could go and become an artist in residence. And uh, there's one for, there's two for Hawaii that we're thinking about taking up this year and possibly doing. Yeah. Joe said, I have my great Nana's bone china hair collector. It's a detailed painted round thing with a lid with a hole and women. And women, but what came for their brush. Oh, they pull oh. what came out of their brush. Oh, wow. Oh, I could fill one of those up in the quickness. Yes, she can. <laughs> Really bonding with you people over this whole evil, evil chicken, chicken thing. thing. <laughs> <laughs> we all have scars. The one good thing to remember, geese, <laughs> they taste real good. <laughs> oh, I suppose that's true. I the geese in your brother's neighborhood, they poo all over yeah. the streets and everywhere. I love my goats. They're sweeties. I'm sure there are some sweet goats out there. The ones that we interacted with. Not, Not sweeties. very nice. Yeah. Yeah, there are some sweet goats out Happy there. Happy New Year to everyone. Hope everyone everyone has an art filled 2020 off to finish the New Year's cookies with the kids. Oh, have uh, a good one, Lisa. Happy New Year, Lisa. Chicken and olives. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I have two dogs and usually get dog hair in my art and feel terrible. Do you think it devalues the work or tells no. a story? Tells no. a story. Tells a story. Yeah. Don't even worry about yeah. it at all. That's how they're going to identify your paintings yep. 200 years from yep, now. Yep, exactly. Because they won't know. Them. They'll be like, oh, this painting that doesn't have a signature, but it has the same dog hair that has the DNA of this painting. Yeah. Yep. 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 When are you getting your warehouse home and studio? We're going with the flow. Yeah, we're going with point. the flow. We're, we're, we're not sure. We're waiting to see what happens. Christopher, I will happily assist in Hawaii. You right? are more than welcome. Yes, you are, Christopher. <laughs> you may join. When are you? Oh, I read that one. How should I learn anatomy? Uh, anatomy books. Pick up anatomy books. Um, that's that's how I learned. Basically, from looking at pictures and breaking down the anatomy and just drawing it and seeing if you could draw the anatomy first and then see if you could do the face over the anatomy. Favorite Sesame Street character? Uh, Oscar the Grouch. Grover. Yeah. Look up Memento Mori hair art. They were memorial art piece, hair pieces. That's cool. I'm going to Google that. Yeah, definitely going to Google that. They then made a tiny braid with it with dried flowers and put it under. A, oh, the ticker tape moved. 
put it under a mini glass dome with a straight pin and wore it as a brooch. I have no, I, I can't believe I've never heard up. of that. We yeah. gotta look that up. Art in residence up at Mackinac Island near Mackinac Bridge in the UP. <gasps> I love the UP so much. So much. I yep. want to know more about that. <laughs> yep. Well, I get I get the email from the National Parks Art in Residence. And uh, so they have the, basically the majority of the national parks actually have a stipend for like a thousand to two thousand dollars for you to stay in artisan residence for 30 days mm -hmm. and create something inspired by the park i wonder if the, <clears throat> that in mackinac island i think is actually a national we'll, park we'll take, i never thought of that before we'll take a look we'll take a look because we want to do some of those so we could get out and travel a little bit more the only problem is that a lot of times they don't have wi-fi so we disappear for a month yeah at a you'd time. hear from us after the fact yeah uh, Artist Haven is also scarred by chickens. We need a no chickens t-shirt. They used to peck at her ankles, even though their food was three feet away from me. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Life, life drawing classes. Yep. Life drawing classes will definitely help with anatomy. How awesome would it be to be a studio assistant for Rafi and Klee? <laughs> How awesome would it be to have a studio assistant? Oh, that would be so awesome. <laughs> yeah. Hashtag life goals. Yep. <laughs> Would you consider yourselves intuitive as artists? I've been working on less thinking while... Yeah. that yeah. Well, for me, there's definitely less thinking. Yeah. Turning off the brain <clears throat> is harder than it sounds. I try to deliberately turn off the brain and let my hands go to work. And it, it's produced awesome stuff. Yeah. 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 I have to because if not, I overthink my pieces and never get them done. So, oh, the ticker tape is really moving. So again, guys, if we miss your comment or question, please feel free to retype it yep so i just went to claude monet exhibit in denver museum so inspiring do you do any of the old masters all of them all of them they all had their their thing that inspired yeah. me every art even if they're not a master any artist from the past just inspires me the history and just beholding what techniques they were using and the composition is amazing yep yeah what is your creepiest customer experience I've had a fair number of them out at markets and stuff. And the good thing is I've learned to be like, step away from the It's booth. always the ones that are like, <laughs> hello. Yes. How are you doing? I would say the people that linger, <laughs> the ones that linger even after the interaction is done yeah. are the ones that are the creepiest. Yeah. What is your favorite movie? Oh, I don't know. So right now, because I was thinking about, I have a lot of favorite movies. I'm a big movie buff. I love movies. I love, you know, I even wrote a script once. So, uh, but right now, um, I would say that it's, um, I can't even remember. You know, the one with uh, uh, Chicken Good. Oh, The Fifth Element? The Fifth Element. Oh, that's in my top ten for it's sure. It's one of my favorite movies. When yeah. I was a kid, my favorite movie was Robin Hood Men in Tights by Mel Brooks. <laughs> We're men. And We're men in tights. Yeah. As a young adult, my favorite movie was Contact with Jodie Foster. Oh, yeah. Loved that. And I would have to say The Fifth Element is way up there. Love yeah. that movie. Fifth Element. It's one of my favorite movies. I'm going to try to turn my brain off and paint. That's a great idea. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. you will love the experience. There are some good free life drawing classes on YouTube. Yeah, YouTube yes. University. YouTube is amazing for that, especially if you're trying to learn something like anatomy or things like that. Like just, just practice. Don't allow yourself to get discouraged. There's a whole bunch of websites too where like an image will come up for like 15 seconds and basically it helps you practice your hand-eye coordination for uh, drawing. So just... There, there's a lot of resources online for that. There's an artist in residence program in Port Townsend, Washington. We need to probably start looking into yeah, that. Yeah, we it's, will. We got busy and we stopped looking at those, but that's something we really want to we do. We will, and I'll be sharing some information on where I see all this stuff because I get emails from them all the time. Christopher Dahl said, multipass. Yeah, multipass. Lilu Dallas, multipass. Lilu Dallas. Chicken, yeah. good. <laughs> Oh, I just tuned in. I know I'm late. So sorry if this was said already. But, Clee, I love your hair. Thank uh, you, Miss Ray. Ms. Ray. Thank Happy you for New joining Year. us. Men in Tights is one of my faves, too. I yep. mean, what can you do? That movie is just great. Many, the Fifth Element is so... Right? It's so good. There's yeah. nothing like it. Love The Fifth Element. Yeah. 
Do you ever watch Korean drama? Look it up on Daybak Free Movies. I love Moon Lovers. It's 20 episodes. It's subtitles. We'll have to check awesome. it out because we watch all kinds of like from uh, everywhere. subtitled dramas from everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Favorite YouTube channel? Well, I mean, I have I am quite partial to ours, but um, <laughs> right now I like Wheezy Waiter. Yeah, yeah, we've been watching a lot of Wheezy Waiter and his wife when they do these like thirty day challenges. I do love, I I do love them. Yeah, oh, I try to watch this and that here and there, but um, I th there's a lot of artists on YouTube that I love watching. Yeah, but but like usually they're just kind of like I'm 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 watching them and following them, but Wheezy Waiter is just fun. I like watching guilty him. pleasure. Yeah, guilty pleasure. What do you guys think of artist retreats? I'm trying to decide if it's something I'd like to save up for. I've never been on an artist retreat. I've never been on one, and honestly, uh, that's that's one of the reasons that I've been thinking about doing the national parks thing because they put you up for 30 days. So essentially, it's like an artist retreat yeah. where you're being inspired by the park around you to create. And it's a solo thing, or yep. you can bring someone with you. Yep. I like, like Princess. Bride. We could go together or... Oh, The Princess Bride, Kelly. Yes. Yeah. Love that movie. Yep. Love the fifth <clears throat> element. Rocky yep. Brandon wants to know if you have a favorite piece of artwork you've ever done. We are super big fans of your crow behind you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So the, the crow behind me, that piece is called The Seventh Day. That is one of my favorite pieces uh, because of the meaning behind it. And basically it symbolizes the day that I got rid of all the, uh, you know, I used to, I, I, and I t talk about this in my book where I blamed my parents for not being an artist. And I blamed, I blamed a lot of other people for not becoming an artist. And it was the day that I kind of got rid of all that and started to take responsibility for my life and who I was. Would you say that's your favorite series or the, it is, your most it is. powerful series? The Seventh Day is one of, the, one of my favorite and most powerful series, but also the other one where the eyes are coming The apart. Expression Series. The Expression series. series. Wheezy yeah. with his parents are great. Yeah, right? his parents are great. Yeah. Blazing Saddles, anyone? Oh, oh I love Blazing yeah. Saddles. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> they call me Little John. <laughs> Yep. They call me Little John, but don't let the name fool you, because in real life, I'm very big. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Anyone who doesn't like Mel Brooks, I feel sorry yeah. for it. <laughs> well, who's talking? <laughs> My major in college is engineering, but I still want to be an artist. Do you guys think it's possible to be an artist and an engineer at the same time? Yes. Heck yeah, we do. Yes. We Absolutely. have a lot of artist friends who love their full-time job. Yep. And they do it all. Yeah. How do you find out about uh, NP Artists? National Park. Resin? There's a website for it. There is a website, but then there are two websites. So I, I'll do something with that because I actually called them to uh, to find out more information and spoke to one of the people in charge. So I'll, I'll put their information out there yeah. for you guys to see. They're super nice people. Yeah. As you wish. The best. You... <laughs> got any embarrassing tattoos? I got no tattoos. No. I mean, I've got tattoos, but none of them are embarrassing because I, I, I designed them yeah, all. Yeah, you did design them all. Yeah. Labyrinth. Oh, man. Labyrinth. I love Labyrinth. Who doesn't love Labyrinth? The babe. The, the babe, babe with the, the power. power. What power? The power of voodoo. voodoo. Who, Who do, do you, you do? Do what? I me of the babe. I saw my baby. <laughs> 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 yeah also david bowie was a unicorn yep and still is how many pieces do you do for one series usually i try to create at least 20 pieces in the series unless it's an ongoing series then at that point at that point i just kind of piecemeal it uh and it's as many as i still feel inspired to create i do a lot of one-offs yeah. That's my thing. Yeah, a series though. How many pieces would you create in a series? In a series? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. You've got sure, more series experience. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. What's the most pieces you've worked on at once? The most pieces that I've worked on at once is about 6 pieces. Uh, just something set up in three different areas and I'd work on one piece. Uh, then when it needed to dry, I'd reset and work on the next piece and just go go through that. Except when you were making tiny tree oh, Christmas Oh, the trees. Ornaments. Yeah, that's right. Then you did like a hundred. I did do a hundred at once. Yeah. 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 David Bowie was so hot. 
There's no one. There's no one that will ever be like David Bowie. Labyrinth was so sparkly. Yeah. Yes. Love, Love Mel, Mel Brooks. Brooks. Who's, Who's David, David Bowie? Bowie? <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Phew. I'm glad the lol was there. Clee, how often do you release a jewelry collection? So I don't really do things by collection. Um, and it's pretty random. When I have a new idea for a series, I just kind of go for it. I would say that I design new things to be released once every couple months, like yep. the spark of inspiration. Yep. Yeah. I try to release a handful of new things every couple months, but I don't do like a collection release as yep. of yet. Yeah. That is. We're, we're still working on a calendar that will kind of help us to really uh, hone in on that. Hone in on that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Rafi and Klee, I hope your 2020 is fantastic. I've loved watching your vids and podcasts and both have been super helpful for this year's journey. In your process vids, are you using GoPros? Sometimes. Yes. Most, uh, most of the time recently. Yeah. 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 They're pretty good. We actually have a new camera that's coming that will help with sound, recording sound. So I'm really excited yeah. uh, to see what happens with that. Yeah, that is really exciting. What if I end up just loving learning art and never produce any? I don't think that's possible, but but it, that's okay. Yeah, I think that's you'll okay. find that you, you'll produce art. <laughs> you'll produce art even in the, in the phase of learning. I mean, a lot of the art that I produce is because I'm experimenting and I'm learning something new. Um, and I'm making mistakes and fixing them and stuff. And that's usually the process in creating every piece that I create. Mm -hmm. It's rare that I know exactly what I'm going to do when I set out to create a piece or that I know that I'm going to get it right. Joe, what is both of yours faves for classical well-known artists of the past? I love Arthur Rack Rack Rackham, Rackham, but also MC Escher, Basquiat, some of Rafi's remind me of him. Yeah. A few more. I love me some Escher. I also love me some Vermeer, and I just, I, I just love. I mean him. Vermeer, Basquiat, Escher. I also um, love Gerard Richter. Richter. I, yeah. Yeah. Gerard Richter. And um, who's the artist who did? Oh shoot, I'm gonna forget it. I'm forgetting one very important one right now. The one that has the documentary on Netflix about the light. Uh, where he does with the with the lighting. There's a documentary on Netflix. Oh. We saw his work when we were at the Museum of Contemporary Art. He works with lighting. It is uh, this uh, the I forget what the series is called, but it has to do with art. He's a contemporary artist. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna think of both <clears throat> of their names. There's one classical past artist, and then him. Oh, it's gonna drive me crazy. You'll remember. Yeah. You'll say it. Cheers, my friends from Kingston, Ontario. Happy New Year's, and thank you for sharing Happy New joy. Year's, Happy David. Happy New Year. <laughs> I'm still waiting for the link for ordering your book. Yes, you will get it. You will get it once I'm in uh, organized yeah. with that. Yeah. Happy New Year, Rafi and Klee. Much love from Michigan. Oh, Happy, Happy New, New Year, Year, Vicky. Rafi, I just took your advice from a while back. I repainted several older pieces and they turned out great. Yes, that's awesome. It's fun to rework old yeah. stuff. Acrylic or oil or mixed media? All of it. Mixed media all the way. Yeah, all of Dali, it. Dali, enough said. How did we forget Salvador Dali? Yes. Shame. Oh. Shame. Shame. Yes, Dali. <laughs> yeah, he's one of the big ones for us both. Yep. What are some things you look forward to in 2020, new decade? There is a whole bunch of things and it's actually something that we'll do in a video because we have a list of all the things, all the things that we accomplished this year that were like stand out that, that we had set a goal. And so tomorrow we actually sit down and talk about what we accomplished last year and what we feel good about, what could be different, and then world domination plans. So. Basically, continuing to be brave. Yes. Continuing to be brave. Gustav Klimt. That's yes, the classic. Yes, I love Gustav Klimt. Yeah, and yeah. The, the contemporary artist will come to me yeah. also. Uh, could you advise basic equipment? Thomas Kincaid. I love Thomas Kincaid. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's so many, though. There's so many. Yeah, it's true. Could you do advice on uh, basic equipment for doing a YouTube channel? We should pro we'll, we we'll will. probably cover we will. that at some point in a we video. Will. We'll do that. Yeah. Favorite quotes. We have so many favorite quotes. Oh, we actually man. on on Patreon we do Monday motivation where we talk about our favorite quotes for that week. 
every Monday. So there's a lot of favorite quotes that we have. Yeah. Some of my all-time favorite quotes were said by Khalil Gibran. Yeah. As just a person. Maya, who, Maya yeah. Angelou is, is yeah. some of my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I love Jordan Page's block calendar technique. When you block yep. out X amount of time for different subjects similar to high school agenda books. Yep. Yeah, that's yep. a good practice. It is. Have you ever thought of saving your toenail clippings to add texture to projects? You know, I thought about it. <laughs> Did you really? I'd be lying if I said I didn't think about it because I think the same thing. Every time I put eggs, uh, eggshells into the garbage, I look at the eggshell and I think to myself, like, I could use that for texture. So you look at all things in yes, that way. Yes, everything. I look at everything. Charity the asks. Same, the same way that I look at people and I see them naked. Yeah, because, yeah. Charity had asked if I get my wire locally or online. And the answer is online. I get almost all my um, materials from one supplier and charity. I will send you a link for them yep. if you would like they it. They are the supplier that you go to. They're that, my go-to people. That, that you trust if you are a jeweler. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What should I do if I have a hard time finishing artwork? I have too many unfinished works. I'm too meticulous and need to be more productive. Thanks. You two are awesome. I would... Um, I would basically just put them in the studio, decide what it is that you need to do to finish them and uh, give yourself a deadline as far as varnishing them and just do it. Mm -hmm. Just do it. If you're too meticulous and you're you're just second guessing everything, you're never going to get it done. Just varnish it, leave it as is and put it out there. You could always go back and change it. Yeah. Yeah, I have to do that with some pieces because if not, it'll just sit there forever. Sometimes I have to walk away from a piece, but sometimes I have to just push forward little by little. Yeah. How did you meet? That, that's we're a long do a, story. We're going to we'll do, do a video. video. We'll do a video on yeah. how we met. So many great artists. Jabron, yes. Yes. Oh, my goodness. It is getting, it's 8.58, Rafi. It's 8.58. We're going to do the countdown soon. I would love that. Thanks, Clee. No problem, I'd Charity. like to know your supplier, too. Naomi and Wendy. Um, we'll do we'll do we'll do something. Yeah, we could do a, a jewelry. We we're gonna do more jewelry related stuff this year. And, this year we have some plans, and we'll be discussing a lot of that tomorrow, which is why we've been so MIA. But yeah, we'll 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 have some. We some have stuff. some ideas in the works for red sure. or white wine. White. White. Red gives me headaches, and it didn't yeah. used to. It gives me headaches too. Yeah. I guess with that, well, we'll we'll we'll. We'll hang out till nine. Okay. Uh, so. What about photographers, Robert? Yeah, I love. I there's so much photography that I love. Yeah. Now I don't know too many I names of photo of photographers. I don't know Robert Mathel, Mathlethorpe. Ma Mapplethorpe. Yeah, I'll have to look that up. Yeah. I wish that I could remember that artist that we both love whose we'll, exhibit we'll we saw. <laughs> Molly, Happy New Year! I'm working. If they go on Netflix, they'll see the documentary. Yeah. I'm working at the artist statement and I'm debuting about debating if I should put anything about trauma, PTSD being a major influence and in the need to create art. Your input? Yeah, I would yeah. I would put that in there. Just don't focus on that. Make that one of the elements that uh, helps you with creating your art mm -hmm. because it's important. It's important. It's that part it's of in your there. story. Yeah, it's part of your story. Yeah. Uh, Please send the link to your go-to supplier also, Clee. Happy New Year's, beautiful people. Thank you, Sharon. <laughs> Terrence Smith, thank you. Happy New Year. Red, dry, white, sweet. Yeah. I I used to like red, sweet. I still like sangria. I like white, sweet. Yeah. yeah. I like the fruity, the fruity white wines. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Christopher. Happy New Year. <laughs> Ansel Adams, yeah. Oh, here Epic. we are. Oh, my God. We did. We forgot the countdown. Oh, we're going to yeah. do the countdown anyway. Oh, we're just, counting down just to the end of the video. Yes. So we're going to do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ah! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! For some of you, it is literally becoming New Year right now. For yeah. us, it has turned to 9 p.m. Yeah. 9 p.m. New Year! <laughs> but we wanted to do a countdown with you, so here we are. Moscato. Yeah, that jazz is good. Robert said, Rafi, you won the marriage lottery. Klee is beautiful. Yes, but it was the second time I played. <laughs> 
I would like to say that I also won the marriage lottery. This guy is the best. Oh, He's thank the you. best. He's also very handsome. Well, we are going to go now. Happy New Year, you guys. Mwah. Thank you so much for hanging out with us yeah. for New Year's Eve. We adore you all. Yeah, you guys are so freaking awesome. This was so much fun. This yeah, was, it was so much fun. I'm glad you decided to do this. I can't think of any other way I would have liked to spend an hour on New Year's Eve before yep. eating dinner and watching Netflix. And hopefully we got <laughs> to all of your questions and stuff. We and didn't, if not, but... we will get to your questions next time. Some of your questions we are going to do videos on. Yes. And some of them just just get in touch with us yep. and we'll try our best. Yes, exactly. <laughs> All right, so let's see. This is announcements. YouTube live, the next YouTube live stream is going to be January 15th. Woo, woo. Uh, for Patreon peeps, Google Hangout will be January 2020. Okay, I'll, I'll update Patreon on that. But the Patreon live stream will be January 8th. And my book, just stay tuned for my book because it is sold out. Yes. And obviously, these are all the places that you can find us. And that's oh, it. Oh, that's the wrong <laughs> Man, I'm not good at the Vanna White no, thing. No, I know. I know. <laughs> so awesome for you guys to hang out with us. And really, seriously, you guys totally made my new year. That's so freaking awesome. Yeah. I adore you guys. They're amazing. Yeah. Of course, we had fun with them. And we are going to, that's it. We're Say signing goodbye. off. Yep. We adore you. Have a splendid new year. And we'll see you in 2020. We will. Adios. Mwah. And now I got to figure out Find how to the end stream button. turn off this thing. I should know. <laughs> Bye, you guys. You guys are awesome. Bye.